Hello and welcome to our step-by-step -step look through the AQA GCSE computer science specification. We're looking at paper one today and specifically we're looking at the idea that there's more than one solution to any problem. I'm Mr Chapman. If you are studying on this course, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got daily videos to really help you out with all your revision for the content on this course. And if it is helpful for you, make sure you head down and pop a like on this video. So we need to make sure we're aware that there will always be multiple ways to solve a problem. But whatever the solution is, it's going to involve some kind of ordered steps. So if there's more than one way to solve any problem, how do we find out what the best solution is? What's going to be the best algorithm for solving our problem? And there's two things that we need to take into account when we're deciding what's going to be the best solution. Firstly, we think, okay, does it work? If it works, it's got a head start on those solutions that don't work. And does it complete the task in a reasonable amount of time? So it's not just going to keep running on and on for infinity. It is going to come to a conclusion at some point. If it works and it completes the program in a reasonable amount of time, then it's a good solution to the problem. But chances are you're going to still have a number of different solutions that satisfy those criteria. So we have to move on into a little bit more detail and see, OK, what do we need to do now to decide what's going to be our best solution? And I've put best in quotes there because it's it does become subjective. It's there's a couple of different criteria. It's up to you as the programmer or your end user to decide what your higher priority is on these two criteria when we're looking at what makes an algorithm better because the two things we're looking at are how much space it will take up in memory and how much time it will take to complete and depending on the priorities of you and your user one of them might take precedence over the other so there's not necessarily a 100% guaranteed best solution but by having a look at how much space it will take up how long it will take to complete and deciding how important each of those two factors are for you, you can certainly go a long way to deciding what your best solution to the problem is. If that video has been a benefit to you, please make sure you pop a like on there. Click on my face so you can subscribe to the channel and not miss out on any of our future videos. And while you're here, there's a couple of other videos on there for you to have a look at to help you out with your computer science revision. Thanks very much for watching.